What is happening, everybody? It's your boy back with another reaction video. We'll be reacting to Honest Trailers Japanese Spider Man. Now, and I saw this at, at first, I was like, ah, I'm not gonna react to that, but I decided to react to it because my brother used to watch this when I was a kid. He still watches it, I know, to this day. And uh, he, I remember when I was a kid, he used to. He thought this was the best, I thought, you know, the 90s Spider-Man cartoon was like the best iteration of Spider-Man at that point. And, cause back then I didn't read too many comic books, but I didn't start that till later on. But, like, I was like, I was like Spider-Man, and he's speaking just special when I was a kid, cause I hated reading subtitles when I was a kid. <laughs> and, uh, I was like Spider-Man, and then I saw he had a, like a giant mech, and I was like, what is this? Like, this is horrible. And then he was posing like, like, and like I mean, even though which was funny because I started uh, like not too long after I started watching uh, Power Rangers, which I didn't watch that for that long because I was literally embarrassed to see for anybody to walk in and watch, see me watching Power Rangers. I still kind of I still watched it up until well. Pretty much the whole the whole time we gone, I watched it. But I just made sure no, anytime someone walked around like, and changed the channel. <laughs> but I just did the spider the Japanese Spider Man one was like I was like, well, what and my, and my brother even this day he like uh text me messages with YouTube channels uh who put up the Japanese uh, spider man. <laughs> I was like, I don't care. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. Some of them, even the old uh, American Spider-Man cartoon, because not cartoon, but a uh, live-action TV show, it was actually not bad. I mean, well, for I would say for its time, it wasn't bad. But I mean, by the day standard, yeah, it's, it didn't hold up. But um, I get a guy credit for those did that stunt work, swinging on the side of buildings. Like, I couldn't do that shit. But uh, anyway. Let's see what the honest trailers thinks about it. Alright, here we go. So, nobody asked for this. But what the heck? <laughs> this trailer's for us. This is why I was wondering. When I saw this come out, I was like, why would they do Before you Japanese go into the spider -verse, Enter an even weirder alternate dimension. <laughs> Cause the first time I remember my first my brother first show me, I thought it was a white guy in Japan. But it was actually a Japanese person. Japanese Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Which is funny. A short lived licensing deal between Marvel Comics and Toei comes a loose adaptation of the oh, West. Toei? Like very loose. They was like, look, at it. you could use the spider man kid, but the same old what the fuck? High school with a spider bike, was he Batman when I was a motocross <laughs> racer with the enchanted blood of a dying alien from Planet Spider? All right, who gives him a flying <laughs> car right. and he talks into a giant robot? Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that I did think that was kind of awesome. The, uh, the giant. <laughs> it's like American Spider-Man. If Uncle Ben's dying wish for Peter was to become the Punisher. <laughs> Okay, it's actually nothing like American Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Experience a show that's virtually identical to Power Rangers, where every episode has our hero transforming after yelling into a handheld device. Spider Protector. Spider Protector. Then fighting some putties until a cloaked villain makes a monster grow, only to get beat down by a Voltron. Um, look at the but since Japanese Spider-Man actually came out first, now you can see yeah. that Megazord is actually just a cheap ripoff of Leopardon. It won't make you any friends, but still, you know, you could say it. Spider-Man! Tired of CGI special effects? Return to a time when all they had to work with was a rope and a dream. Where the monster yeah, but I wouldn't say that this is better. Because it's practical. <laughs> practical doesn't mean better. It was more of a steady wiggle. Basic gymnastics were looped to make them more impressive. <laughs> That is horrible. The same mech footage had to keep getting reused because someone stole yeah. the suit halfway through production. Wow. Oh. 
That's fucked up. Oh, man, that sucks. Should have put Japanese Spider Man on the case. Spider Man. I remember, so I seem to remember him like posing a lot like in it. A fresh take on the scene. He was he was like, not be the strongest version. Yeah. Or the most brave. Just or shoot the damn dog. <laughs> but before you feel too superior, it's still more fun than the show Marvel was crapping out stateside. Yeah, I am yeah, giving that. Man, this could really use a killer robot. Spider-Man! Starring... Takuya's mmm face. Naruto running. <laughs> tiny shorts. Dramatic faces. Yeah! <laughs> Dramatic zooms. But yeah, Power Rangers is just shit a lot of the same deaths. But now you think of Bruce Lee movies did that shit too. Yeah. 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 That never bothered me when I just see that one. Slaps. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I guess he gets super strange. He can just smack people. Child abuse. Damn. Sheesh. Murder. Oh, fuck. The black dude? Suicide? Well, this show gets dark. Damn, what the translated fuck? episode names. Hey, I didn't look at School of Love and Children with the Translated monster names. <laughs> Spider Man workshopping his catchphrase. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Wow. And Spider Man settling on his catchphrase. Just once I want to hear Toby McGuire yell that. No. We love Spider Man. Spider-Man Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? The <laughs> we are Groot and Venom. Part of the journey is the end. Underground, overground, wobbling free. The Wombles of Wimbledon, common are we. I am secretly a brony. Wow, that was interesting, because I've never actually uh, watched that show, like, in, in its entirety, so. Plus, I don't know where you can even find all the episodes, but, um, like, I've seen some episodes, like I said, because my brother, but... Yeah, that uh, that last part. I, I'm I'm hoping that's just a, a mistranslation or something. That that is. Oh, uh, okay. Like, uh, yeah, I can't even say the hard one with the hard ones because it's just. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. Like, I, I I've never, I've never really mind, like. I would almost say, like, nowadays, especially, especially nowadays with all these superhero movies, like, a lot of people want, well, I would say a lot of comic book fans. Well, I shouldn't even put that quote. A lot of comic book fans. I can't even say that they're not comic book fans or something, but a lot of comic book fans want just the comic book done in the movies. I'm the type of person, like, I read comic books and stuff like that, but like a lot of those stories I've read 
because of course they're going to use the most popular ones and try to put them in the movie obviously so they want to get as many people as possible and say hey this comic book was very popular so let's give you we definitely get all the people who you know who like that that comic book and we can get you know the general audience on board as well if you make a good movie but me I, I like to see new stuff you know new stories I'm not saying you have to take away from the character's personality wise or anything like that like you need to what a change what a to be for to be different than combos we need to make this person evil now or something you know I don't think you have to do that if you're basing it off of this particular character uh, you can still do story but not I don't want to, you know uh, you know panel by panel type remake of this comic book in a movie now, you know and I can actually read the comic book it's like people who want like that Final Fantasy 7 remake coming out people want pretty much that exact same game uh, the, the remake to be the exact same as the old game like turn based and everything. it just updated graphics I'm like then what was the point I could just play the old game I don't me person I don't need updated graphics to play that game well, I could play the new one now because the updated graphics like I've argued with my brother about this before, but um, like Superman, like, like I liked Man of Steel. Now he, I remember he kind of said, and I've actually read this quite a bit on Instagram. Different people said they wanted pretty much Henry Cavill to be Christopher Reeve's Superman, but just with updated special effects. So like, now and I know they're not saying they wanted the exact story from Christopher Reeve's. But still, like, why do you, we, we have to have that? Particular? Like, when I was a kid, you know, I watched Superman on card like the, you know, Superman animated series and Justice League when, when I got a little older. But, you know, Clark Kent and Superman, Clark Kent didn't act like Christopher Reeve Superman. So, I didn't, it wasn't like a drastic switch from, you know, Clark Kent to Superman. It was just like, it's kind of unbelievable that Superman will be working here. And I mean, like, is he Superman? He, he doesn't have to work. And all stuff, you, know? you, would, you would think that. Even though the person could look almost identical to Superman. But you're just like, why would he be working? And not, not, it's, not, it's not even really the glasses there. Because like you, like, you would think, people think to themselves, like, if I was that, if I was Superman, or had his abilities, why would I do this? <laughs> this job especially this type of job like I would be people I think people like I would be a king because they, they would turn into what ultra superman whatever from that, that uh, crime scene you would turn most people probably turn evil and that is probably why a lot of people don't like superman because he's extremely powerful and he's a, a goody two shoes at the same time so I guess people, oh, he's corny or he's boring or whatever most people I think say they don't even read superman comics they just regurgitate whatever the his my else say, but um. Anyway, like with with the this thing, like I I wouldn't mind if like not just DC or Marvel, I mean, they're the biggest ones, but any superhero or uh, comic book companies to just lend their properties to somebody. Like, hey, won't you make a movie about this? But you need you you can use these characters but you have to do it in your own way type thing like like this with spider-man like you can use spider-man or it doesn't have to say they did only said they can use spider-man so the japanese toho took it, japanese company toho took it and said uh not Toho. uh nah, i'm forgetting the name of the company but they took it the other company took it and changed pretty much everything about the character trying to make it their own that's what I'm saying like you can change a character like let's say they get I don't know Batman and they're going to use Batman but they're going to change the character to where maybe he I don't know takes a serum or something that enhances his strength or maybe he's uh 
Maybe he uses a, a ninja sword or something, a katana or something, or maybe uh, he uses a battle axe. I don't fucking know. But he drives around in a battle van, like the fucking punch instead of like a slick Batmobile type armor car. You know, just, 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 uh, you know, like this, maybe he has a fucking big ass mech. Like, <laughs> just. Just uh, you could just a uh, hit. I, I wish companies would do it. Was like, here, you can use this property, or let's say you can even use this, this particular character and his rose gallery. But we're going to be doing our own thing over here. But we want you to take this character and his rose gallery or whatever, and do your own thing. Don't do the exact thing that we already created. Do your own thing with it. So that way, it's it's you know. It's not really counter programming because it's still going to be superhero related or whatever, but it'll be completely separate from what we're doing, you know, type thing. I mean, I guess you could have it where they did a Batman. I mean, it'd be just like like they said, like if someone had Spider Man, and let's say Marvel didn't come up with it first, but they lended Spider Man to another company, and then uh, that company took it and made um, that. Uh, the Spider Noir Spider Man, where, they, where he's still like Spider Man, but he's in what that was the twenties or something like that. Or, I think it was in the twenties, and he had bit by uh, what was it? It was like he opened up a an Egyptian sarcophagus. I can't remember the name, but it was it's like, it has something to do with like Egyptian, like something, a, a Egyptian god or spider god or something that granted. Him those abilities, like they they changed it and they even changed the time period. They changed it dr drastically, really, from what Spider Man is. I mean, he's only Spider Man, really, in name and abilities, but everything else around him is different. So, like, I, I wouldn't mind if studios did that. Like, hey, just take this and do what we're we're, we're doing out there. You take it and do what you want to do. Now they want to change it and make the person evil or they just say they want to take uh, I don't know uh, Mr. Fantastic or something and make him an anti-villain or anti-anti-hero he actually kills people you know something like that and makes him more gritty and dark or something like that you know I wouldn't I, I wouldn't mind. I know some people like I don't even want to see that because it 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 takes away from what the character is. I just like if to me if it was a good story if they do if they take it and make it a good story, then I mean, at least to me, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. Like as long as it's a good story, like I'm not gonna like well they should have just stuck with the old stuff or why do you need to change stuff? You're alienating fans now. If you're doing a story and you're saying that this is based off of like some type of continuity with, let's say you're doing a superhero and it's based off a comic book. And then you're like, oh, this like you're doing Superman. And this is based off the character Superman. You don't establish that you're changing stuff. I can see people getting upset. Now they do say in the movie, this is an adaptation. So most people just assume that, oh, well, it's similar to the character, the same as the characters in the comic books. But not necessarily, they didn't say that. That this character can be different in the comic books than on than 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 in the movies or, or on TV or whatever you know. Then then unless they say this is a a TV version of this comic book or this specific uh, issue or, or you know run or whatever of the comic book run or whatever. That that's to me that's different than saying well this is an adaptation of this story so an adaptation doesn't necessarily have to be exact so that's why like, it didn't bother me certain things that either Superman did or like even in Marvel when they have uh, like Captain America like he just kills people willy nilly but remember in Civil War when he beat the shit out of the Punisher for killing villains like <laughs> but, but he kills people fine and, and, or like uh, Tony Stark when he killed that guy with Iron Man 3 just blew a hole through his chest and was and perfectly fine with you know it, was, it didn't as long as you make it to me a good story 
It doesn't bother me. But that show is not great. <laughs> I mean, I would look at it. That's the type of show that you look at when you, when uh, either you, whether you drink or you smoke, uh, smoke in the reefer. When, uh, <laughs> that's the type of show that you look at and, and, and just enjoy with friends like that. And then you watch like Power Rangers. And just, if you want to be nostalgic, if you're from that time period, depending on how old you are. But, uh, just anything that makes you nostalgic, I guess you can do that. But if you're like around my age and that, that you were a kid when that stuff was coming out, or even like this, like my brother was a kid when this came out. So, uh, but I don't think he saw this until years later because I, mean, I don't think they showed this in Japan. He saw the the American one. But, uh, but, the, <laughs> but I would say just sit and watch it. You gotta, uh, and just in, enjoy it with friends. Don't don't watch it by yourself if you're not, unless you're getting drunk or high or something. <laughs> because you won't enjoy it, and, you, and you're gonna end up turning off before you get through it. And also watch the old Marvel cartoons from like the '60s. The only really good one to me is Spider-Man. That's mainly because of the intro. All the other ones are horrible, but. They're funny at the same time. But anyway, we're going like 20 minutes on this. Um, thanks for watching my video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to that. I'm going to put a link in the description for the video. So you can watch it if you want to watch it. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.